And of course, as we're on the subject of football, let's talk about a hot topic involving the NFL. Every year, the league holds an orientation for rookie, former players, uh, where rookies, where former players talk to them about things like off the field conduct, financial planning, that kind of stuff. But one Hall of Famer's advice is being described as appalling. Listen to this. Chris Carter was talking about a strategy for off the field conduct, and he told the players they're not always going to do the right thing. So he's going to teach them how to get around those problems. His advice find a fall guy. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, he told the players if you're going to have a crew going around with you, one of them has to know that he's going to jail. The crew has to understand, he says, that nothing bad can happen to you. Now, these comments were made last season, and the NFL is now calling them unfortunate and inappropriate. Should the league have done something about his advice sooner? Does it look like the league? No. Does I, it look bad for waiting until a former player came what, forward? What did they do now? He's giving them free advice. Yeah. Your free That's advice is worth advice. what you paid for. I, I think right. it's great advice. But it's, it's still you think it's great, it's great advice? advice? I, think, I think it's great advice. I think this is inside baseball. I used to work at a hotel where they held these symposiums. Uh -huh. NFL Rookie Symposium. They held it uh, at La Costa Resort and Spa where I was the audiovisual operations manager. Okay, so you've listened in on so these. So I've listened to some of these as they've okay. taken place. Yeah. Basically, he has shown you how hot dogs are made. You don't want to like it. You don't want to think about it. Just eat that hot dog and don't worry about it. These guys go out. They do things. It would be nice if they didn't. It would be nice if you could tell them, be choir boys and be at practice an hour early and stay an hour late. I think we know that doesn't happen. Right. So that being the case, I have printed for you a page oh, out of oh, the 48 oh, Laws oh. of Power. Okay. okay. I still have to pick it's my dog. Malcolmisms. Yeah. Malcolmisms. The 48 Laws of Power says that you keep your hands clean. Conceal your mistakes. Have a scapegoat around to take the blame. If you're Johnny Manziel, you don't want to go to jail or have the NFL looking down, uh, looking over your shoulder after you got into an unfortunate incident at a well, bar. You shouldn't get into an unfortunate Surely. incident in the first and, place. And, and right. Buddy Rabbit shouldn't die, but wolves got to eat. Things happen. I, <laughs> Things I, happen. I'm in shock right now. Can it's you say that again? I, I like that. I can't agree <laughs> with Bunny that. Bunny Rabbit should not have to die, but wolves got to eat. I mean, <laughs> this is the way the bread is buttered. They go out, no, it's they party. Not. They do it every week. We'll well, have somebody to first. But then he's first... encouraging it, though. Why, why encourage it? Well, why not say I'm you sure shouldn't he didn't do it? Say, Don't do it. I'm sure he said, you know, <laughs> not keep do your it, nose but do clean. it the smart way. But and the thing is, I've met Chris Carter yeah. before, and you know, he's a decent guy. Yeah. He's had his own problems. He's though. on the inside, telling you how it goes down. Besides the fact that he's a Hall of Famer, and so he knows how this is done, had a long career in the NFL. He's had his own issues, and if you look them up, he was with the Philadelphia Eagles. He's yep. A uh, prolific wide receiver. His coach, Buddy Ryan, said all he does is catch touchdowns. Isn't that the point of the game? Yeah. But he had his issues, so the coach cut him. And he cleaned up his act. He went to Minnesota, had a long career, and right. that's where most people know him from. He's, he's made mistakes. Yeah. Alicia, you're very quiet. I just have to say, I'm, I'm just thinking the kids at home watching this, you know, They're you never could then cut translate class on to, cut day. you know, um, honey, why did you go? Uh, why did your buddy go to the principal's office? He had to take the fall for me, mommy. But you know something? I'm sorry. Yeah, I, well, <laughs> she didn't need to know that. <laughs> like Don't like Malcolm that. said, inside baseball or sort of how the sausages are being made. These guys are millionaires. They're going to make mistakes. They're 20 something millionaires and they have all these friends with them. They, you ain't riding for free. Yeah. Should they do it? No, they should not. And, and, all and of their friends happened. are freeloaders, and one of them deserves to not take the all fall of them. Not all for of something them. you and did, look, allegedly. You know, we have Terrence yeah. Wheeler's in, in the house. Big time Karen. athlete, played at Arizona State, right? Yes, played at Arizona State, friends with uh, lots of professional athletes. Don't bring this, him into no, this. He no, really has a right to say him. something. I'm not going to ask gonna him come anything. Over here and I because think he should if you're going to pull him in. He's a respectable man with a good job, and he does great work. We're going to interview him later heart. We because put you on the he. Spot. Uh, come on in. How are you doing? Wonderful. Hey, Your thoughts on all this? My, my thoughts is that I understand what Chris Carter was trying to say. Okay. Perhaps the, the message got lost in the delivery. All right. What he was saying is that someone in your camp should be responsible. I'm not saying that someone should go to jail for you Watch for your crime. Absolutely. Like so if you're drinking, like, you should have a, a designated keys. driver. Exactly. Okay. Someone to say, if you're going that out with this young, sense, young lady, but... Have make sure this is consensual, that right. someone knows he, he's your witness, uh -huh. that you said you want to go to the hotel with this young man. Therefore, you don't have those plethora of issues. See, there the way you, you explained it that makes was, more sense. Was, He's more polished. Than that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I, like, I like what Martin said, though. I mean, Malcolm said in terms yeah. of <laughs> the <laughs> rabbit's got to <laughs> die, the wolf got to eat. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Thank you so much. Don't encourage him. <laughs> Don't encourage him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you.
Terry Terry Wheeler Terry. coming yes. up right after the break. That's why he's here. That's why he's here. That's why he's here. Why he's here, here to talk about a back-to-school giveaway program. We're going to have that right after this. Is he great? Yeah, he's absolutely. Great. All right.